What's up squad? Hope you are well today. It is early. It is about 7.30 in the morning and I never wake up this early. In fact, usually it's like 8.30, 9, o'clock. I'm just not a real morning person. But I wanted to get up today. I have something special going on that I'll share with you here in a second. Uh, but on this video, we're going to talk, in the last video we talked about Instagram, how we're making money on that. But I want to talk about how I'm running a paid advertising campaign. I'm getting just above dollar lead. In fact, some of the ad sets were getting low as, I, uh, last time I checked, it was like 60 cents, 80 cents. It was crazy. I'll probably show maybe some of the screenshots on here. But I want to show you exactly what I did. I want to show you three specific things that I did to, in order to have these successful results with generating really cheap leads on Instagram. So that's what we'll be covering on today's video. So to welcome everybody to someone else, Ryan Maynard. What's up guys? Uh, we're about to get on a call and uh, Ryan, why don't you share with them what the call is about? Uh, well, uh, we're getting on the call with a funeral home owner uh, down in Florida. Um, they own several locations and uh, about to lock them down on a new Facebook marketing contract. Um, I basically run a digital marketing agency that works with funeral homes, so this is potentially a big deal, six-figure client potentially, six-figure per year client, and uh, pretty excited about it. So Nick's gonna help out with the call, with his digital marketing expertise. Again, like Ryan said, he owns a digital marketing agency where they focus on funeral homes, generating leads via Facebook on funeral <clears throat> homes. So. Um, yeah, we just are about to jump on a call. Hopefully it goes well. And um, yeah, like I said, it could be a big, big client, uh, multiple thousands per month, because it has uh, multiple locations. I sent the email, I'm not sure if you got it. Um, yep, I just got it now. Okay, uh, let me pull that up. The call go, Ryan? Pretty good, I'm about to lock it down, new deal. 10K per month, you know what I'm saying? So. We gotta work out a deal, Nick. You gotta let me know what you're gonna help me out for. 2K, 3K, 4K. The call went really well. Um, again, it was just kind of a touch and base call follow up, but it sounds like they're really interested. Again, like I think I said, they have multiple locations, could be honestly a six figure deal per year. So we shall see their one, their one help with email marketing as well as Facebook ads. Yeah, we'll see what happens in the next few days, but we should lock it down. Fast forward a couple hours, I got my morning routine done got some work done, and now I'm gonna head over to the bookstore actually at Barnes and Nobles, and I believe there's a Starbucks there as well, so I'm gonna sit there, get some work done, I have to pick up a book for a friend, hopefully it's there, if it's not, then I uh, will obviously order it online, but now we're gonna start getting into this stuff about these Instagram ads, and this is stuff that people don't really tell you, it's not necessarily like the little tweak in the ad or anything like that, there's some very strong things that make huge differences. There are small hinges, but they swing big doors. Okay, so I'm gonna share with you three specific things that's really, really gonna help you if you are running Instagram ads and you wanna drop the cost per acquisition. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being like all right, so we're here at the Tempe Marketplace. I'm about to go into the Barnes and Nobles bookstore. I'm gonna buy a book for my friend for his birthday. And then what I was also thinking about doing, if they have two copies of this book, The Five Second Rule, one of my favorite books of all time, what I'm gonna do, if they have two copies, I'm gonna grab both of them, and then I'm going to be giving away one of the copies to one of you guys. Okay, so whoever leaves the best comment down below amongst my next, we're gonna go with the next three videos. So whatever best comment I'll leave down below and I'll randomly select the winner and um, yeah, you'll have a brand new book of the five second rule. 
But let's get into this technique number one, and that is borrowing authority, okay? So as you probably noticed from the title of this video, how Gary V helped me get $1.27 leads, right? Did Gary V actually help me get $1.27 leads? Was I talking to him? Was I having an exchange and saying, hey, Gary V, how can I get $1.27 leads? No, but I borrowed his authority. I talked about in my video ad that I will be showing you here in a second that I use his authority, I use his credibility so that people would pay attention to me and view me as a higher authority, okay? So I'm gonna show you that video ad, the video ad that I ran that is getting $1.27 leads right now. We got over 100 leads at $1.27. And I'm gonna show you how I leverage his authority to generate even better results. Ever since working with Gary Vee's team over at Vayner Media, my Instagram has absolutely blown up and people are constantly asking me how the heck I was able to do that. If you'd like to learn more about my process so you can blow up your profile, swipe up. So as you can see, I borrowed his authority. I, you know, I worked with them and I just borrowed his name. I said, hey, I work with these guys and just people seeing that right away, they say, oh damn, this guy already has a little bit more authority than what I first thought because of the fact that he worked with Gary Vee. It's just borrowing authority. So what I strongly recommend is that you do the same thing. Now, I don't know if you've worked with any big agencies or anything like that, but you can always get creative and find ways that you can borrow authority. For example, I have a client that he was featured on a couple big YouTube channels and he has a best-selling book. And those are all things that he wasn't implementing into his messaging, into his marketing. And I told him, let's start putting those into place and then it'll just put your authority this much higher and people will listen to you that much more. So always be getting creative, always be getting resourceful on how you can add a little bit more authority, borrow authority from someone else so that it'll raise you up a little bit more. But now I'm gonna be walking into the Barnes & Noble bookstore. Hopefully there's two copies. And yeah, again, leave the best comment down below. Hopefully they'll get you a free copy. All right, just got uh, my book, but I'm gonna keep walking down here. Obviously you can probably tell we're in the Tempe marketplace. So some cool spots within this area. I wanna go find another spot down the road here and then we're gonna talk about the technique. So let's get into technique number two. And in conjunctions with the last one, how it was more of an influence trigger, this one is very similar to that. Basically, this doesn't have to tie into necessarily an Instagram ad or YouTube ad or anything, but it is an influence trigger and at any time you're trying to get someone to take an action, you want to implement stuff like this. Now, if you want to learn this stuff even more, I would strongly, strongly suggest that you do. One of the best books that you can read is called Influence by Robert Cialdini. Study that book, know that book, just learn that book. Treat it like a Bible and it's gonna help you so much in your life, okay? So, let's get into this whole technique number two and that is showing proof, okay? Let's look back at my ad real quick and I use the authority bias by leveraging Gary Vee's authority, okay? That's great, but what I do next I didn't just say that I worked with Gary Vee's team. I didn't just say that I was a part of them and I got paid by them and stuff like that. I showed it, I proved, I had a check. It was undeniable proof, a check from VaynerMedia that I worked with them. If I just would have said it, that would have been one level of influence, but it just did not work the same as if I showed an actual check, okay? So do whatever you can to show undeniable proof that what it is that you're doing is legit. To give you another example, at the beginning of this video, I did another piece of proof. Instead of just saying I'm getting dollar leads, dollar 27 cent leads, I showed it, boom. 
I showed a screenshot. I also showed a couple other screenshots where I had like a 90 cent uh, leads and then, I don't know, 70 cent leads or something like that. I forget the exact ones, but I was just sharing and then showing you undeniable proof that it was legit instead of just telling you. All right, so I'm gonna head back to my car. We're gonna talk about technique number three. And then I got a few other things that are going on tonight. I'm actually gonna go do some cold plunging and then I'm gonna go to an improv comedy class. This is something I've done from time to time and it just helps me keep me sharp, okay? It keeps me sharp socially, it helps me with making videos, all that kind of stuff. Would totally recommend you do it yourself. Back here at my apartment complex. Uh, we're up here on the roof. Gosh, it's just amazing to get up here sometimes. The sun's not quite low enough yet, but um, it's getting towards that golden hour. And uh, yeah, it's just beautiful scenery around here. Maybe you can kind of check it out. It's gonna be hard to see it with this camera, but. Or I should say this lens in particular, since it's a wide lens, it's hard to really grasp everything but um, yeah we're back here and I'm gonna share with you technique number three to help you lower your acquisition for your Instagram ads so this is gonna be a little bit more of a technical technique okay the last two were much more just influence based like I talked about on technique number two I would strongly recommend that you start just divulging yourself in a lot more influence training the book that I talked about, uh, influenced by Robert Cialdini, and then I don't know, just like there's a couple other resources that I have that I don't like. I can't like send you links or anything, but just really get inundated with the whole idea of influence. Because the more you're able to influence people, the better you are at influencing people. The better your life's gonna get. The more money you're gonna make, the more yeses you're gonna hear. It's just life gets better when you're able to influence better. Okay, so technique number three again, like I said, is a little bit more technical. It's more so like an actual strategy within Facebook ads, but it's the whole idea of lookalike audiences, okay? And I'm just gonna explain it and help you understand it. If you guys would like me to go into the Facebook admin dashboard and show you exactly how to set this type of stuff up, then I will definitely do that. Leave a comment down below and I will make a follow-up video to show you exactly how to do that type of stuff, okay? So let me know. Now, I wanna explain the reasoning behind lookalike audiences and exactly what they are. Basically, what a lookalike audience is, is you have like a list of people, whether that's an email list, a customer list, even like your social media following or people that have watched a particular video. And basically what you can do, if that's a solid list, say it's a customer list, you have, let's say you have a thousand customers, okay? Um, then you can take that list, load it up into the Facebook admins dashboard, which that's where you control your Facebook or your Instagram ads as well. But then you can tell Instagram and Facebook, hey, I want you to go find out, I want you to go find at least a mi two million more people that are just like these people. And then you have this big, big audience that you can advertise to. And the reason that this works so incredibly well is because one, it's a big audience and you need a big audience to lower your cost per acquisition. If you only have like a couple hundred people or a couple thousand people on your audience list, it's just generally gonna make it more expensive. I don't even fully understand why, but just from my experience, every time that I use a small list, it drives up the cost. So having a big list and a look like audience is really good, but just the simple fact because Facebook and Instagram know so much. They have so many data points on everybody. They know exactly what everyone's doing, how they're acting, <laughs> like they know everything. So if you have a good solid list, then you just basically duplicate that to a bunch of people that are just like that list. It's gonna convert so much higher as if you were just going after interest base, which is what a lot of other people will do. So that's kind of the rundown on lookalike audiences. I would recommend that you strongly use these. And again, it doesn't have to be you have to have a customer list. It doesn't mean you have to have a, a crazy big email list. I simply would take my Instagram followers and then I would create a lookalike audience of them or people that have um, liked my Instagram posts. And I duplicate that and make a lookalike audience of that. And those are some of the campaigns that work the absolute best. So use the lookalike audience as much as possible. 
And if you use those three specific tips, it's going to help you in your Instagram efforts, okay? Now, if you guys made it to this point in the video, I appreciate you so much. If you have not yet, make sure and subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, and share this with a friend that they can get some value out of this. We're looking to grow this channel big time. We're making videos every Monday and Thursday, staying consistent with that for 12 months straight. You heard it here first, we're going to do that. I'm gonna stay consistent. It's something I've struggled with from time to time, but here I'm making a commitment to stay consistent. Two videos a week, every week for the next 12 months. Okay guys, I appreciate you. Make sure and implement those three things, okay? Use the authority bias. Leverage other people's authority until you can get your authority, it lifts you up. Use undeniable proof so that people believe exactly what you're saying, not you show that you know what you're saying, you show proof not that you're just explaining it and saying it, okay? And then the third, use lookalike audiences because that's gonna drastically drop your cost per acquisition, okay? Use those three things and it's definitely gonna help you in your advertising on Instagram, Facebook, um, and then obviously the first two can just help you in influence in general. Okay guys, I appreciate you so much. Thank you for watching the video as always and we'll see you on the next one.